All right, so today we shall practice English conversations. Now here are a few conversations related to office. Conversation A, speaker one, what did you spend all your time on today? Speaker two, checking the annual report. Speaker one, was everything in it all right? Speaker two, no, I discovered several errors. Conversation B. Speaker one. How is the mail handled? Speaker two. The executive secretary opens it and sorts it out. Speaker one. Is any record kept of incoming mail? Speaker two. Yes, everything is entered on the mail register. Conversation C. Speaker one. Do you receive many inquiries about your product? Speaker two. Yes, there are a good number every day. Speaker one. You can't answer all of them personally, can you? Speaker two. No, unless they are obviously important, we send back a form letter. Conversation D. Speaker one. I'd like to dictate a letter to ABC Company. Speaker two, just a moment, please, while I get my shorthand notebook. Speaker one, would you also bring me the previous correspondence with them? Speaker two, I've already put the file on your desk. Conversation E. Speaker one, I've been working very hard recently. Speaker two, how come you've been working so hard? Speaker one, I've been trying to impress my boss. Speaker two, I hope you haven't been working in vain. Now here are a few conversations about school. Conversation A, Speaker one, does Doctor Taylor teach every day? Speaker two, no. Only Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Speaker one, is Doctor Taylor teaching right now? Speaker two, no, he isn't. He's working in his office. Conversation B, Speaker one, why doesn't John practice anymore? Speaker two, he doesn't have much free time. Speaker one, he used to have a lot of free time, didn't he? Speaker two, yes, he did, but now he's going to school every night. Conversation C, speaker one. What are you studying this semester? Speaker two, history, English, and math. Speaker one, which do you like best? Speaker two. History really interests me the most. Conversation D, Speaker One. Not all students do their lessons carefully. Speaker Two. Well, I do mine carefully. Speaker One. But your brother often does his at the last moment. Speaker Two. And my sister always does hers a day or two late. Conversation E. Speaker one, how come you aren't at school today? Speaker two, there aren't any classes this week. Speaker one, well, how come there aren't any classes? Speaker two, this is our spring vacation. Now here are a few short conversations. Speaker one. Does Doctor Taylor teach every day? Speaker two, he teaches on Monday. Speaker one, does Doctor Taylor write every day? Speaker two, he writes on Tuesday. Speaker one, does Doctor Taylor drive every day? Speaker two, he drives on Wednesday. Speaker one. Does Doctor Taylor watch every day? 
Speaker 2, he watches on Thursday. Speaker 1, does Dr. Taylor listen every day? Speaker 2, he listens on Friday. Speaker 1, does Dr. Taylor practice every day? Speaker 2, he practices on Saturday. Speaker 1, does Dr. Taylor rest every day? Speaker 2, he rests on Sunday. Now here are a few examples where we shall learn how questions can be asked differently. Does he teach every day? Now a related question could be, is he teaching right now? Do they study every day? The related question could be, are they studying right now? Do you practice every day? The related question could be, are you practicing right now? Does she drive every day? Now the related question could be, is she driving right now? Do they watch every day? Are they watching right now? Does he listen every day? Is he listening right now? Do you rest every day? Are you resting right now? Now here are a few examples where we shall learn what could be the question of a given sentence. Now first the sentence, they listen every day. Now the question to this would be, do they listen every day? He's studying right now. The question to this would be, is he studying right now? She walks every day. The question to this would be, does she walk every day? I'm practicing right now. The question to this would be, are you practicing right now? They drive every day. Do they drive every day? He's teaching right now. Is he teaching right now? Now here are a few similar kind of examples. John doesn't practice anymore. Why doesn't John practice anymore? We don't practice anymore. Why don't you practice anymore? They don't practice anymore. Why don't they practice anymore? Mary doesn't practice anymore. Why doesn't Mary practice anymore? I don't practice anymore. Why don't you practice anymore? The boys don't practice anymore. Why don't the boys practice anymore? Now here are a few examples where we shall learn what will be exactly the opposite sentence of a statement. He doesn't have much time. Now the opposite sentence would be, he has a lot of time. He doesn't have many friends. Now the opposite sentence would be, he has a lot of friends. He doesn't have much experience. He has a lot of experience. He doesn't have many books. He has a lot of books. He doesn't have much information. He has a lot of information. He doesn't have much training. He has a lot of training. He doesn't have much money. He has a lot of money. Now here are a few examples where we shall learn how one statement can be said differently. He had a lot of time. Now instead of this, we can also say, He had lots of time. He had a lot of friends. He had lots of friends. He had a lot of experience. He had lots of experience. He had a lot of books. He had lots of books. He had a lot of information. He had 
lots of information. He had a lot of training. He had lots of training. He had a lot of money. He had lots of money. Now here are a few examples where we shall learn how we can use the same kind of statement to describe different things. He used to have a lot of free time. Now instead of a lot of free time, if we have to say practice every day, then the sentence would be he used to practice every day. Or if we have to stay study almost every night, then the sentence would be he used to study almost every night. Now if we have to say read a lot of books, then the sentence would be he used to read a lot of books. Learn everything by heart. Then the sentence would be he used to learn everything by heart. Or if we have to say be a good student, then the sentence would be he used to be a good student. Now here are a few examples where we shall learn what can be added to a sentence to give a proper answer. Now here the first sentence is he used to have a lot of free time. Now to describe it better we can also say but he doesn't anymore. They used to practice every day but they don't anymore. She used to study almost every night but she doesn't anymore. I used to read a lot of books but I don't anymore. You used to learn everything by heart but you don't anymore. He used to work in the evening but he doesn't anymore. Now here are a few examples where we shall learn how a sentence can be described by different persons differently. He's going to school every night. Now here, instead of he, if we have to say we, then the sentence would be, they are going to school every night. Or if we have to say they, then the sentence would be, they are going to school every night. If we have to say I, then the sentence is going to be, I'm going to school every night. If we have to say she, then the sentence is going to be, she's going to school every night. Now if we have to describe someone's name, like Tom and I, then the sentence would be, Tom and I are going to school every night. Now here are a few examples where we shall learn what will be the question of a given statement. I'm studying English this semester. Now the question to this statement is going to be, what are you studying this semester? She's studying geography this semester. What's she studying this semester? They're studying history this semester. What are they studying this semester? We are studying math this semester. What are you studying this semester? He's studying chemistry this semester. What's he studying this semester? Tom and I are studying physics this semester. What are Tom and you studying this semester? Now here are a few examples where we shall learn how we can say about different things using the same kind of statement. History really interests me the most. Now here, if we have to describe a different subject, like chemistry, then the statement would be, chemistry really interests me the most. If we have to say English, then English really interests me the most. If you have to say math, then math really interests me the most. If you have to say geography, 
then the statement would be geography really interests me the most if we have to say physics then the statement would be physics really interests me the most now here are a few examples where we shall learn how to say different things using the same kind of statement not all students do their lessons carefully now instead of carefully if we have to say correctly then not all students do their lessons correctly now instead of do if we have to say practice then the statement would be not all students practice their lessons correctly if we have to say thoroughly instead of correctly then not all students practice their lessons thoroughly now instead of practice if we have to say go over then the statement would be not all students go over their lessons thoroughly instead of thoroughly if we again have to say promptly then the statement would be not all students go over their lessons promptly now here are a few examples where we shall learn how we can ask a question about something in a different manner how come you aren't at school today now instead of this we can also ask why aren't you at school today how come he isn't at school today now instead of this we can also ask why isn't he at school today how come they aren't at school today instead we can also ask why aren't they at school today how come she isn't at school today instead of this we can also ask why isn't she at school today how come tom and you aren't at school today instead of this we can also ask why aren't tom and you at school today how come the girls aren't at school today instead of this we can also ask why aren't the girls at school today now here are a few examples where we shall learn how we can describe different things or say about different things using the same kind of statement there aren't any classes this week now instead of classes if we have to say meetings then there aren't any meetings this week instead of meetings if we have to say lectures then there aren't any lectures this week in case we have to say concerts there aren't any concerts this week if we have to say discussions then there aren't any discussions this week if we have to say examinations there aren't any examinations this week again a similar kind of example there aren't any classes this week now here if we have to say meetings there aren't any meetings this week if we have to say today and tomorrow instead of this week then the sentence would be there aren't any meetings today or tomorrow now here in the same statement if we have to say lectures there aren't any lectures today or tomorrow now instead of today or tomorrow if we have to say during our vacation then there aren't any lectures during our vacation now instead of lectures if we have to say examinations then there aren't any examinations during our vacation now here are a few conversations related to going to school conversation a speaker one why are you so worried speaker two my sister doesn't study hard enough speaker one isn't she interested in school speaker two school entrusts her but homework doesn't conversation b speaker one i'm worried about my school work speaker two what's the problem 
speaker one i think i'm going to fail the examinations speaker two maybe you won't if you have more confidence conversation c speaker one what are you going to study at the university speaker two probably history and english speaker one You'll have to work hard. Speaker 2. Yes, I've heard that. It's a difficult school. Conversation D. Speaker 1. What did you apply for? Speaker 2. I applied for a scholarship. Speaker 1. What did you apply to? Speaker 2. I applied to the Eastern State College. Conversation E. Speaker 1. I understand the boys' applications were turned down. Speaker 2. Who turned them down? Speaker 1. I think the College Admissions Committee. Speaker 2. I'd advise them to try again. Now here are a few examples where we shall learn how we can say different things using the same kind of statement. My sister doesn't study hard enough. Now instead of hard enough, we can also say carefully. My sister doesn't study carefully enough. Now instead of study, if we have to say read, then my sister doesn't read carefully enough. Now instead of carefully, if we have to say thoroughly, my sister doesn't read thoroughly enough. Now instead of read, if we have to say practice, my sister doesn't practice thoroughly enough. Now instead of thoroughly, if we have to say long, my sister doesn't practice long enough. Now here are a few examples where we shall learn how we can ask a question in a different manner. Isn't she interested in that? Now here, the other way could be, she's interested in that, isn't she? Isn't she satisfied with that? Now here, the other question would be, she's satisfied with that, isn't she? Isn't she annoyed over that? She's annoyed over that, isn't she? Isn't she accustomed to that? She's accustomed to that, isn't she? Isn't she adjusted to that? She's adjusted to that, isn't she? Isn't she concerned about that? She's concerned about that, isn't she? Now here are a few examples where we shall learn how we can describe about different things using the same kind of question. Isn't she interested in school? Now instead of interested, if we have to ask about tired of, then the question would be, isn't she tired of school? Now instead of school, if we have to ask about her work, then the question would be, isn't she tired of her work? Now instead of tired, if we have to ask about satisfied with, then the question would be, isn't she satisfied with her work? Now here if we have to say annoyed over, then isn't she annoyed over her work? Now instead of work, if we have to say all the changes, isn't she annoyed over all the changes? Now, instead of annoyed, if we have to say accustomed to, isn't she accustomed to all the changes? Now, instead of accustomed to, if we have to say worried about, isn't she worried about all the changes? Now, instead of all the changes, if we have to say getting a job, isn't she worried about getting a job? Now, instead of worried, if we have to say concerned, isn't she concerned about getting a job? If you have to say excited, isn't she excited about getting a job? 
if you have to say studying English instead of getting a job isn't she excited about studying English and instead of excited if we have to say involved in then isn't she involved in studying English now instead of involved in if we have to say adjusted to isn't she adjusted to studying English now instead of studying English if we have to say our new schedule isn't she adjusted to our new schedule now instead of adjusted to if we have to say disappointed in isn't she disappointed in our new schedule now here are a few examples where we shall learn how we can ask about different things using the same kind of question what did you apply for instead of apply for if you have to ask complain about what did you complain about or instead of complain about if you have to say comment on what did you comment on or if you have to ask about listen to what did you listen to if you have to ask about succeed in what did you succeed in now here are a few examples where we shall learn what will be the additional question we can ask after asking one question did you apply for a scholarship what did you apply for this will be the additional question did you complain about the noise what did you complain about did you comment on the suggestion what did you comment on did you listen to that program what did you listen to did you succeed in your work what did you succeed in now here are a few examples where we shall learn what is going to be at the question after a given statement they were turned down now after this if we have to ask then the question would be who turned them down they were looked over who looked them over they were thrown away who threw them away they were taken back who took them back they were used up who used them up they were given away who gave them away now here are a few examples where we shall learn how we can ask about or say about different things using the same kind of statement i'd advise them to try again now instead of advice if we have to say ask i'd ask them to try again if we have to say urge i'd urge them to try again if we have to say force i'd force them to try again if you have to say instruct i would instruct them to try again if you have to say pursued i'd pursue them to try again now here are a few examples where we shall learn how to say the same thing in a different manner they advised him to go we can also say he was advised to go they asked him to go we can also say he was asked to go they urged him to go he was urged to go they forced him to go he was forced to go they instructed him to go he was instructed to go they pursued him to go he was pursued to go now here are a few conversations related to the English class. Conversation A, speaker one, English is the hardest language in the world. Speaker two, why do you say that? Speaker one, I can't understand it or speak it. Speaker two, but this is only your first day in English class. 
Conversation B. Speaker 1. How do you pronounce this word in English? Speaker 2. It's pronounced sign. Speaker 1. What's a sign? Speaker 2. It's a public notice. Conversation C. Speaker 1. What do you call this thing in English? Speaker 2. It's a hammer. Speaker 1. What's the word for the things you hit with the hammer? Speaker 2. Nails. You pound nails into wood with a hammer. Conversation D. Speaker 1. How do you ask for help politely? Speaker 2. You say, could you help me, please? Speaker 1. Is that all right to say, could you please help me? Speaker 2. Yes, you can say it that way too. Conversation E. Speaker 1. Can you understand spoken English very well? Speaker 2. I can understand you, but most people speak too fast. Speaker 1. How about speaking? Can you carry on a conversation? Speaker 2. I'm really not very fluent yet. Now here are a few examples where we shall learn how we can describe something in a bigger manner. English is hard. It's the hardest language in the world. English is difficult. Now we can also say it's the most difficult language in the world. English is easy. It's the easiest language in the world. English is complicated. It's the most complicated language in the world. English is simple. It's the simplest language in the world. Now here are a few examples where we shall learn how we can say different things using the same kind of statement. This is your first day in the class. Now here, instead of day, if we have to say week, then the statement would be, this is your first week in the class. Now instead of class, if we have to say the office, this is your first week in the office. Now instead of first, if we have to say third, this is your third week in the office. Now instead of week, if we have to say month, this is your third month in the office. Now, instead of office, if you have to say factory, this is your third month in the factory. Now, here are a few examples where we shall learn how we can ask a question in a different manner. Could you help me, please? Now, this question can be also asked as, could you please help me? Could you come here, please? Could you please come here? Could you wait there, please? Could you please wait there? Could you correct this, please? Could you please correct this? Could you translate it, please? Could you please translate it? Now here are a few examples where we shall learn how we can say different things using the same kind of question. Is it all right to say that? Now, instead of all right, if we have to say correct, is it correct to say that? Now, if we have to say incorrect, is it incorrect to say that? Now, instead of incorrect, if we have to say proper, is it proper to say that? If we have to say improper, is it improper to say that? If we have to say polite, is it polite to say that? If we have to say impolite, is it impolite to say that? Now here's again an example where we shall learn how we can ask about 
things differently. Can you speak? And this question can also be asked: Is how about speaking? Can you write? Now this question can also be asked: How about writing? Can you read? How about reading? Can you follow it? How about following it? Can you pronounce it? How about pronouncing it? Now here are a few conversations related to learning and using English. Conversation A: Speaker one, do you want to learn English? Speaker two, yes, I do, very much. Speaker one. Why do you want to learn English? Speaker two, because it'll be useful in the future. Conversation B. Speaker one, I want to learn English. Speaker two, then you must speak it. Speaker one, why must I speak it? Speaker two, because you want to learn it. Conversation C. Speaker one. Do you understand the sentence? Speaker two. I don't understand it completely. Speaker one. All right then, I'll repeat it. Speaker two. Thank you very much. Conversation D. Speaker one. Did you understand what I said? Speaker two. No, I didn't. Would you please say it again? Speaker one, of course, I'll say it again slowly. Speaker two, that'll help a lot. Conversation E, speaker one, please write down John's address. Speaker two, all right, but would you please speak very slowly? Speaker one, yes. Do you want me to spell each word too? Speaker two, not the numbers. Only the names. Now here are a few conversations related to language learning problems. Conversation A, Speaker One. What are you studying right now? Speaker Two. I'm doing my English assignment. Speaker One. What's the hardest thing about English? Speaker Two. Pronunciation is the hardest thing for me. Conversation B. Speaker one, can Peter understand French as well as English? Speaker two, yes, and he can speak it well too. Speaker one, I can't speak a word of any language except my own. Speaker two, neither can I. Conversation C. Speaker one. That man is able to speak three or four languages. Speaker two, yes, and he can speak them well. I understand. Speaker one, could you learn three or four languages? Speaker two, I could, if I had a hundred years to do it. Conversation D. Speaker one, I'm feeling very discouraged. Speaker two. What's the matter? Speaker one, when people talk to me, they talk too fast. Speaker two, you'll have to listen faster then. Conversation E, speaker one, learning language is difficult. Speaker two, I wish there were only one language in the world. Speaker one, then we would have to learn it. Speaker two. That's the trouble, isn't it? Now here are a few conversations related to driving a car. Conversation A, speaker one. Why don't we park the car there? Speaker two. That's a no parking zone. Speaker one. There are parking meters in the next block. Speaker two. Let's see if we can find a space there. Conversation B, speaker one, you'd better turn left at the next corner. Speaker two, 
I can't. No left turn. Speaker one. Then we'll have to drive around the block. Speaker two. It looks like it. Conversation C. Speaker one. You're driving too fast. Speaker two. What's the speed limit? Speaker one. It's fifty miles per hour. Speaker two. Then I'm under the limit. Conversation D. Speaker one. How do you like your new car? Speaker two. Great. I really like the automatic shift. Speaker one. Does it have power steering? Speaker two. Yes, and it's got power brakes too. Conversation E. Speaker one. You drive very well. Speaker two. Thanks. I always try to be cautious. Speaker one, you are, but best of all, you drive very smoothly. Speaker two, steady pressure on the accelerator and brakes is important. Now here are a few conversations related to car repairs. Conversation A, speaker one, my car won't start. Speaker two. Press the starter button. Speaker one, nothing happens. When I press the starter. Speaker two, then your battery is dead. Conversation B. Speaker one, could you help me for a moment, please? Speaker two, what can I do for you? Speaker one, could you look over my radiator? Speaker two. I'll check it after I help that other man. Conversation C. Speaker one. What's your brother doing? Speaker two. He's fixing the motor of the car. Speaker one. Does he need any help? Speaker two. I don't think so. Conversation D. Speaker one. Could you look over my car? Speaker two, what's the matter? Speaker one, well, I don't know. Speaker two, I can look at it now, if you can wait. Conversation E. Speaker one, could you change my right tire, please? It's flat. Speaker two, certainly. Do you want us to fix it too? Speaker one, would you please? Speaker two. We'll have it ready for you tomorrow morning. Now here are a few general conversations. Conversation A. Speaker one. Where were you born? Speaker two. I was born here. Speaker one. Have you lived here all your life? Speaker two. Yes, I have. Conversation B. Speaker one. Whom will you get the money from? Speaker two. We'll get it from our parents. Speaker one. What will you spend the money on? Speaker two. We'll spend it on books and supplies. Conversation C. Speaker one. Do you want me to wait for you? Speaker two. No, I can take care of everything myself. Speaker one, can't we get together a little later then? Speaker two, sure. I'll be through in about half an hour. Conversation D. Speaker one, what took you so long? Speaker two, I had a lot of things to do. Speaker one, we'd better hurry, or we'll be late. Speaker two, I think you're right. Conversation E, Speaker One. I'm starting my vacation next week. Speaker Two, you have to see as much as you can. Speaker One, that's what I think too. Speaker Two, you really ought to travel by bus then. Now here are a few more general conversations. Conversation A, Speaker One. 
Where did you get that book? Speaker two, from the library in my neighborhood. Speaker one, is it a good library? Speaker two, come with me, and see for yourself. Conversation B. Speaker one, we are going to be late for the meeting. Speaker two, when does it start? Speaker one, it starts in exactly fifteen minutes. Speaker two, I think we'll be on time. Conversation C. Speaker one, something is bothering me. Speaker two, what's bothering you? Speaker one, I think I left the lights on in my apartment. Speaker two, well, there's nothing you can do about it now. Conversation D. Speaker one, what does that sign say? Speaker two. It says no smoking. Speaker one, what are you doing? Speaker two, I'm putting out my cigarette. Conversation E. Speaker one, I'm sorry, I'm late for our appointment. Speaker two, what happened? Speaker one, the traffic was very heavy. Speaker two, it's always bad at this time of the day. Now here are a few more general conversations. Conversation A, Speaker One, Where's Mrs. King? Speaker Two, She's in the other office right now. Speaker One, Do you expect her back soon? Speaker Two, Yes, I do, in just a few minutes. Conversation B, Speaker One, Someone wants to talk to you. On the telephone, speaker two, who is it? Do you know? Speaker one, I'm sorry, but I forgot to ask. Speaker two, it's okay. I think I know who it is. Conversation C, speaker one, will there be a meeting here next week? Speaker two, no, for there'll be one on the twentieth. Speaker one, will there be any people at the meeting? Speaker two, according to John, there will. Conversation D. Speaker one, why do you have to go to Hawaii? Speaker two, I'm going for business reasons. Speaker one, how will you travel, by boat or by plane? Speaker two, most likely. I'll go by plane. Conversation E, Speaker One, would you like to go to the store with us? Speaker Two, I'd like to, but I've got to do some work. Speaker One, why don't you do it later? Speaker Two, I wish I could, but I can't.